What's going on everybody? David here. Today I want to show you how to personalize your Lightroom. So I, it's, it took me a long time. I've been using Lightroom for probably about five years now and I never realized that you can do this uh, until now. You can use an identity plate to that you can place up in this corner here. Uh, so you can put your logo, you can put your uh, company name, photography, David Clark photography, whatever you want to put. So let me show you how to do that. It's really simple. So you just go to edit here and you go down to the identity plate setup. Click on that. Now when you click on that, it's going to bring you to this window here. You're going to have a diff uh, few different options here. You have Lightroom, you have Lightroom Mobile, and then you have Personalize. If you leave it at Lightroom, that's what it's going to show. Lightroom Mobile, you can use the, the mobile app to put your template on that. Uh, for me, I like using the, the regular Lightroom, so I'll click Personalized, and it will bring me to this window here. In this window, we have, you can just type in, let's say you want to type in your name, David Clark Photography. So you can have it like that which is nice I like that you can change the color here any color that you want you can change the font type uh, bold italic you can change the change the font so you can do it's just like a regular uh, word application kind of set up there where you can change all that uh, you can also change these tabs here you can change the size of the tab you can change the font and bold, uh, etc. So, what I like doing uh, instead of having, instead of typing in my name because it's just the I can only use the fonts that are provided. I like to use my logo. And so, if you want to use your logo, just click on this tab here, and now you can locate your your file here. So, just click that, find your file, and in this case, my file is right here click choose now this is as large as I can get it uh, I haven't been able to figure out how to move it over a little bit more if I go any larger than this then photography is not going to show up it will just fall underneath here so this is fine um, but there's the logo there now if I want to keep that logo I can save it as a custom so we'll just call this logo and if I click OK there it is. So now it's saved there, and there's the rest of my setup. So that's how to personalize, give your, your Lightroom just a little bit of an extra touch, especially if you're doing uh, like these uh, screen captures or the, this, the video that I'm doing here, and I want to kind of advertise my photography uh, business. I can do that and do my little uh, tutorials and things like that. And you know, the, it has my little logo there. So that's nice. If you guys have any questions, please leave them below. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.